urologic doctors first generate a surgical map of the prostate, which is then used to guide a robotic water jet that eliminates prostate tissue without using heat. Welcome to Medical Made Easy. In this video, we are going to talk about aquablation. Who qualifies for aquablation? The difference between aquablation and other BPH treatments. Aquablation procedure step by step. Time aquablation therapy takes for recovery. Aquablation is a minimally invasive surgical technique for benign prostate enlargement that uses hydrodissection, a heat free mechanism, in combination with high pressure saline to remove parenchymal tissue. This surgical approach has a robust morbidity profile, a shorter resection time, and encouraging initial results. Aquablation is a treatment for benign prostate hyperplasia symptoms that precisely destroys extra prostate tissue using an image-guided high-pressure water jet. Candidates for aquablation include those with BPH symptoms, such as frequent and urgent urination, a slower stream, frequent nighttime urination, and the feeling that the bladder is not completely emptying. Any size prostate can benefit from this treatment. For surgery to be successful, choosing patients carefully is essential. Those with moderate to severe lower urine retract symptoms who have not responded to medical treatment for bladder outlet obstruction brought on by BPH are often considered candidates. Formal assessments and counseling should be provided to patients in an outpatient setting. The difference between aquablation therapy and other BPH treatment. In addition to medications, the following two types of BPH treatments are available. Minimally invasive surgical treatments, such as transiently implanted nitinol device, water vapor therapy, and prosthetic urethral lift procedures. Surgery, such as open protastectomy, transurethral resection of the prostate TURP, laser vaporization, and laser enucleation therapy. Aquablation is regarded as surgery because it is done in an operating room and an overnight stay at the hospital is important. How is aquablation operated? Urologic doctors first generate a surgical map of the prostate, which is then used to guide a robotic water jet that eliminates prostate tissue without using heat. With aquablation, our surgeons may view the whole prostate in real time by combining ultrasound imaging with a tiny camera, sometimes known as a cytoscope. This makes it possible for the surgeon to precisely identify the prostate tissue that has to be removed. Under anesthesia, aquablation therapy is carried out in a hospital. The treatment requires an overnight hospital stay and usually takes less than an hour. First step, making a surgical map. Since every prostate is different in size and shape, it is critical for a surgeon to tailor the procedure to the particular anatomy of the patient. The only method that allows the surgeon to view the entire prostate in real-time image using ultrasound imaging and a camera called a cytoscope in aquaplation therapy. The surgeon's vision is limited by the use of a camera in all other surgical options. With the use of ultrasound imaging in conjunction with aquablation therapy, the surgeon can map out specific regions of the prostate to remove or leave alone. The prostate's section that result in permanent issues such as incontinence, ejaculatory dysfunction, and erectile dysfunction will be mapped out by the surgeon. Step 2. Prostate Tissue Removal After the surgical strategy is established, the mapped-out prostate tissue is removed using a robotically controlled, 
heat-free water jet. By eliminating human error and guaranteeing accurate, reliable, and consistent prostate tissue removal, robotic technology helps eliminate prostate tissue. After an equablation procedure, some surgeons may decide to use very little cautery to control bleeding. Advantages of Aquablation With the use of surgical mapping, high-definition imaging, and robotic technology, aquablation guarantees precise prostate tissue removal. Thanks to this technology, urologic surgeons can avoid removing sections of the prostate that can lead to issues like retrograde ejaculation and instead remove only the excess prostate tissue required to relieve BPH symptoms. Furthermore, since the prostate is accessible through the urethra, no incision is required. Adverse Effects of Aquablation A bladder infection Pelvic pain, difficulty emptying the bladder Frequent and or urgent urination And mild pain or blood during urination Are among the most prevalent mild and transient adverse effects. Aquaplation Recovery Time Most men only require one night of hospital observation and catheter use following aquablation therapy. Mostly, it is removed the next morning and you can go home catheter-free. There should be very little discomfort and almost none in the coming days. The primary limitation is to lift no more than 10 pounds in either arm for a period of two weeks. Most men feel like they can physically do more than that soon after. But it is required to limit strain since it can provoke bleeding at the surgical site. So there is no heavy lifting for two weeks. But unless you work involves heavy labor, you can go back to work right away. There is more positive news, too. Aquablation is a remarkably effective procedure. 95% of men who are examined five years after surgery still don't require further therapy. When compared to typical prostate procedures, it is a very durable therapy choice for men with BPH with the lowest risk of sexual adverse effects. That is it for today's video. If you found this video informative, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also like and share with your loved ones. Till next time, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye-bye.